right what's going on everybody so everybody's been kind of asking for you know what's been going on with the cars and um it's obviously done uh but it's not tuned yet so today we're just going to be going and doing a little bit of road tuning um i want to first off by saying i am not a tuner uh we are starting with a modified base map and we're just tweaking things in the fueling and stuff like that to kind of get it to run better so um by all means don't you know take my advice on what to do and uh, tuning cars because I'm not a tuner this is the first time I've done any of this um, but this is sort of what you kind of have to do when you when you're starting with a base map and it's not correct you're gonna have to kind of drive the car and tweak certain things uh, to get it to run better so it's safe um, assuming you have a wide band and all those things so let's go uh, take this thing for a little drive obviously no boost or anything like that just kind of drive it around and make some tweaks okay <clears throat> so have you made any changes no. to the timing no, I have, you want to see the picture of the ignition hop from the base Exactly that, I just feel like maybe it needs more in some areas. Like from like 25 to 3500, I think we're probably like negative 10 to 0 vacuum ish. So, pretty much this whole area, see what I did was I just kind of took like this whole thing. Just go up a few degrees. So I noticed the fuel trims. The fuel trims are like negative 10 right now, so it's trying to pull fuel out right now. But really, that's about the target and how close the target is to what it's doing. I'm gonna play with these numbers a little bit and see. I wonder if these boxes along the side here are affecting it. This, I mean, the boxes along the edges do kind of. It might just be a really big jump from 49 in this kind of idle box up to like 60. This one, I cleaned it up right there. Yeah, but the, it cleaned up the air fuels. What are the trims at? Negative 12, 13. Eight, seven. I'm just taking fuel out in this low RPM, low vacuum area. Just trying to play with things and see what it likes. Just so we can get more miles on it. <laughs> you don't have to have like a, a, a signal sensor on the transmission for that? No, you tell it. I don't know what gear ratios it thinks it has. Probably WX or something. But you basically just enter your gear ratios and number of gears and based on RPM and speed it knows.
probably does. Okay, that's good there. seems fine. Yeah. 
exactly our problem. Enrichment can be delivered to the intake manifold via increase in normal sequential injection pulses, which are known as synchronous enrichment, or via additional injector pulses inserted between the sequential events, which is known as asynchronous enrichment. The ignition timing can also be corrected or advanced retarded. So, is this enabled? Transient, where, where is that setting at? Uh, probably. I don't know. Maybe a little. Fuel comp correction. Transient throttle. It's not settings. Values here. Load rate dead band 30% per second. Load acceleration dead band 150 per second. So this one is 25 and then 500 and then 1 at 300. Maybe this is just an example. But. Yeah. Distance enrichment is not enabled. Yeah. Enable overall correction enables the overall correction table, which allows for quick overall adjustment of the enrichment amount. And then uh, load rate dead band is under enrichment. The load rate dead band is the minimum amount of positive throttle rate of movement. The minimum amount of positive throttle rate of movement. TPS or MAP derivative that is required to trip an enrichment transient unit. Yeah, so this <coughs> is 30% in a second. If this is set too low, it will cause false activation with unwanted enrichment events. If it's set too high, it will cause initial lean spikes due to delayed injection, together with no detection for small throttle movements, typically set to 25 to 50 percent. Maybe he maybe it was set to 25 before and he put it to 30 and that's why we keep like getting into the gas and then so, it's it's fucking lean. Once you disconnect and open the um open the other map and look at what it was before. Cuz I didn't mess with any of this shit. So Let's the load rate dead band seems like it's basically what activates it like how much Throttle, how quickly activates it. Yeah. Load acceleration dead band is once the transient throttle enrichment event is triggered, the acceleration of the load source must exceed this value to maintain enrichment. This acts as a decay system for longer enrichment periods. Use a low value for shorter enrichment periods. Or for longer enrichment periods, use a low value. For shorter enrichment periods, use a longer value. We didn't save a copy of the tune before we gave it to... No. So he overwrote the only copy. I haven't saved a copy of the tune since, like, before the car actually ran. So, yeah. Alright, guys. So I know this video is kind of all over the place. Um, but obviously we're not tuners. <laughs> so we got, you know, a little over 500 miles on it now after doing a lot more driving. Um... The tune is coming up in a few days, so that's going to be the next video, is uh, actually getting this thing tuned by a professional. Um, we are just kind of messing with things to try to make it safer while driving, which obviously there's a lot of parameters in these Haltex that need to be adjusted correctly, so that's probably our biggest issue right now is just, 
you know, going through all the little things that we really need an expert for. So um, I just kind of wanted to put out some kind of video so you guys know what's up with the car. Um, obviously, I'm going to make a video when we go and get it tuned. Um, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, everything checks out good. I mean, so far, everything's looking pretty good. I think we have a tiny oil leak on the turbo drain, but I don't think it's going to be too big of a problem for the tune. So, um, yeah, just want to thank you guys for watching. And, uh, you know, leave a comment, like, subscribe, do all that kind of stuff, and uh, we'll see you next time.